Hello, I am Chris Spizak. I'm Scott Watson, commentating on my own matches. Wow. Yes. Uh, this is from our RCQ in Pittsburgh on February 19th at Legion's Games in Pittsburgh. Please come by. We love new players. Um, Scott, Scotty, you're here on the left with your uh, That's Jank sleeves. Uh, yep. Frank's on the right in the purple sleeves. Uh, you're playing Rohashu. He's playing Blue Rogue, whose name I can't remember right now. I feel like a terrible person for not remembering card names off the top of my head. You know what? I rarely, if ever, play a rogue, so I can't remember their hero. Yep. So. Shuffling up. I just love your your sleeves there. The oh yeah, jank sleeves. Yeah, pure jank. Oh yeah. Pure jank. That's what awesome. I'm the, the sleeves do describe you, Scotty. Your dank decks can get pretty janky. Yeah. You guys draw up. And Scotty Mulligan. No, you can't. Yeah, as I remember, that was like a really horrible hand. Like, I knew I was facing a rogue, and I'm like, that's horrible. <laughs> I thought it looked like you were going to Mulligan. I think you already did, but you kept this hand. He plays Eternal One Throat Slasher. Was the seed to their demise. You got a Twilight Citadel. Twilight Citadel and a pass turn. Yeah, I think I passed the turn. Yeah, he delved. And hits you for one. Pass his turn. You got the, uh, the new quest that's pay one and turn down a resource. So yeah, I kind of added them, made a change to the deck, put that in. I was like, so you make a a, a a Twilight Dragon and pass turn. Let's see what Frank over here has. Shadow Dance. Yep. Hits yeah, he played two. in early shadow. I mean, so, hits two. you for two. Pass his turn. You stash a Savage in to hit him for two. And it wasn't just a Savage in, it was a janky Savage yep. And you divine cleanse away Shadow Dance, the Delve. Yeah. Put one on top, one on the bottom. Token gets in there for one, and you pass turn. Seems like a good turn by you, Scotty. Take a shadow dance yeah. flying. Yeah, I, I definitely had to do that. I was just like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, what is that? I can't tell what it is. That, that is a... Uh, is that main gorge bite? He went first, I think, so... Yeah, think this is turn three. Turn doesn't... Oh, no, it is turn four. So, yeah, that... It's looks, turn four. Yeah, that is Mangor's bite, it looks like. So, he swung yep. in and there for two, Mangor. Yep. And I stashed again on him, I think. Yeah. He was attacked for one with the token, and then he played Jexali to heal, but I don't think you're going to get a draw off it. No, I think I was like one. I had one health left or something yeah. at that point. It looked like can't exactly tell, but you still had some health on you. Yeah, some damage. I did have a little bit, one or two. It wasn't a lot. Man, all these rogue cards. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Me neither. That shows uh, you how long it's been since rogues really been in bow. Some kind of rogues. Bachelors that he just stashed onto him. God. Oh, those are the spal those are the spalters that let you do one nature damage. Plus one your turn for every and, every heirloom counter on it right. to an ally or hero. So. So that thing gets quite big by the end of this match, I, as I recall. Yeah. You attack to break some more damage. You play another Jexley. Still can't draw a card, but you're just healing, making dudes. 
Yeah, I really didn't have many answers. I hadn't drawn a girdle yet, and I was just trying to just slow him down. Slow him down and put things out on his field that he might have to answer. Yeah. I mean, Jackson, keep getting in there. Yeah, I see the Twilight Dragon token went away. He pinged it with his yeah. start a turn effect. He flipped. His flip is the one that says when he deals damage to an ally, your hero also takes it. Yeah, that is the flip. I don't remember the name of the hero, though. Yeah. So that was like, oh, my Jaxalee's going to take it, and I'm going to take it. But you luckily had a hammer of justice in your hand to stop his hero from attacking. <laughs> yep. Very good. Very good card versus solo rogue decks. Yeah. It's actually number three, and you get to draw the card this time. Yeah, as I recall, this was Jexley Festival for me. They, yeah. they just they were having a party. Yeah, Jexley Fest 2012. He pings the Jexley and kills it, and also hits your hero for a bunch. Yep. Yep. Yeah, finally found a girdle. Yay. Oh, you, he swung back on Jex Lee. That's what killed her. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what killed her. And then you also played girdle. That was probably a mistake on my, my fault for getting about his flip. I was just not used to playing that hero at all. No. Yeah. I don't think it really changed much. It, it killed your Jex Lee, but you got damage on him. You had to do it at some point. Swing at him. Yeah. Yeah. So... Stash to put another heirloom counter on the spatula. I see a card in his hand, Scotty, and it's not good for you if you place it right now. But he decides not to. What card was that? It was two arms. He, he's tapped out at this point, I think. No, he or left no. everything open. Uh, I don't know, yeah. and I'm well, pretty sure he has six hot. resources, so... Yeah, he does, but he's hodged, so he probably doesn't want to play it. Yeah, and, and let it get let, and let it get dispelled, so... Yeah, just let it, if I have a dis... Because he wouldn't be able to attack, so I'd just dispel it on my turn if I had it. Yeah. And that's bad. He kills the Jex Lee with the Spatulars. Draws a Heartseeker. He can stash that at an heirloom counter. Spatulars are up to... F Three heirloom counters on it, and ping something for yeah. four. Yep, I told you that thing got high. Yeah. <laughs> like... Well, now you're sitting back with Smite Reaver with three open. He can play two arms, which looks like he's going to. So now his weapons are ridiculous. I don't even want to think about what the attack of his weapons are. But you have yep. a Hodge, so it doesn't matter. But it still doesn't help you right now attacking him because you're going to get into an ugly situation. And if you attack him, he just swings back and just kills you. Oh, yeah, I think I have a in that. my hammer. Yeah. yeah. So I was I was kind of ready for that. Most thing about solo rogue decks is most of them do run two arms, so it's kind of yeah. like, okay. He dispel, he finished his strikes on the chain for a lot. Yeah. Doesn't look like he's going to... What would that be? Two, uh, seven... Four, like eight or something. No, no, no. It eight should be a lot more than that. Because th his dagger has one attack, then plus six from two arms, right? So seven attack, then double to 14. He should have seen okay. strike to you for like 15. Yeah, it was big. I knew it was a lot. It was a lot of damage. It was like, owie. Yeah. So, you flip on him. Um, 
Yeah, I really don't think I had anything else to do at the end of his turn. So I just flipped on him. Pushed the damage. I, I think I was trying to do some math in my head. And knowing I had to push it. And kills Jexel Lee. Yep. Plus I, I had that free turn. You had to take a guess. You were thinking that... You have the you probably ha- have the uh, the buff in your hand, but you couldn't kill him as one swing with it last turn. And if he got to right. swing back twice on you, he would kill you back. The awkward right. tie. So it looks like you're asking about the uh, the dagger, and you'll be like, "Yeah, I'll be get plus one attack, then pumped up to four, so I, he can swing back for six. Yep, that's what I was doing. I was yep. making sure my math was right on like. Yep. How much damage you could just do off the top of his head. Smite Reaver plus five, seven. Now you're swinging for 11, which looks like it kills him. And it doesn't look like him swinging back. Well, he doesn't have an armor. But I had to swing. Time. I think yeah. I have to swing twice. But he looks like he, you got the game. Scott Watson. Yep. Beats the solo rogue deck with the... Yep. Sort of solo rogue paladin deck. Hey, Hammers is justice for solo rogue decks. They just don't like them. Yeah, that's not a card you want to see. So, yeah. I thank everyone out there. Oh, you even got the deck box, too. I forgot about that. It's got oh, yeah. all about the pure jank. I thank everyone out there for uh, watching. Listen to our other videos. Rate, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. We'll see you next time.